Finding out who or what is visiting your garden unseen can be something of a detective job. It helps, of course, to be able to identify wild animal track and sign. But the only way to be 100% certain of which wild visitors you're receiving is with photographic evidence. You could decide to camouflage yourself, to sit in a corner of the garden and stake it out for hours on end. Or you could get yourself a camera trap or a trail cam, as they're known. There are lots of different models of trail cam on the market. These are, these are Bushnell. They all do, or well, most of them, much the same thing. They take still photographs and or video. All of them work on what's called a passive infrared system. This little window here is a sensor. It's exactly the same sort of thing as you have on security lights around the house that switch the light on when somebody moves by, only instead of switching a light on, it triggers the camera. It can also trigger an infrared light so that it works by night. Now that light is invisible to you, me, foxes, badgers or anything else, but it is visible to the camera producing a black and white image. Most of them run on batteries, in this case double A's. It's a good idea not to skimp on the quality of the batteries. I use lithium. I know they're expensive, but it really makes a difference. And this model has a little colour screen as well, which means I can review any of the clips I get in the field. So if I just get one or two clips, I can check, see if it's something I want to keep, and then reset the camera without having to go back to a computer. It records, and many of them do, on a simple SD card. The sort of position you're looking for is where you most expect to see garden wildlife. You might have seen some sign, perhaps some digging or or a scat, a, a poop. It's important not to put the camera right on top of the sign. I'm going to stick it on the edge with the background of a bush so that it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. Bingo. I'm going to go and set another one up. And on this occasion I set the second camera up looking back at the first so you can see how they work. Now watch when the infrared light gets triggered. There you go. That's the movement of the badger has triggered the light and that's the view from that second camera. I have to confess to having cheated a little bit. I threw a handful or two of peanuts out just to keep the badger interested. And you can see he's not interested just in the peanuts, also in the camera. How animals react to the trail cams really depends how often they catch the scent of human beings. The badgers in my garden are used to me. There's a lot more information on many of the other films on our channel. Just click on the button on the bottom right. And if you haven't already, subscribe by clicking on the left and uh, make sure that you activate the email option so that we can let you know when we upload new films. Thanks for watching. See you soon.